Hey y'all, in this video I will be cloning the Nike Run app in order to show how we can build an interface in Flutterflow and that just how simple it is. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Follow along. All right, so for this project, we're just gonna create a new one, uh, name it Nike Run. We're gonna do a clone app of the Nike Run app. Uh, we're gonna start with the home page. Uh, in order to um, begin, I'm just going to drag a column over and then a row. And we're just gonna set that. We'll, we'll make this uh, scrollable later. Right now we're just doing the basically the initial page. Um, later we will do the rest of the page, which includes some, you know, graphics and then a scroll view, not a page view, um, on a alternate background. So it's pretty cool. So first we just want to, we want to do a container cause we have this, the initials in the top left. So the way I'm going to do that is just throw a container in there. Um, we're going to make it smaller. Let's try 32. Yeah, let's see that. Now let's change this to be a different gray, something like that. We can do border radius. Um, actually, let's just make it a circle. <laughs> That'll be a lot easier. And then uh, we're going to make this just a little bit larger. Okay, let's put our initials in here. That's what they have it in the Nike Run app. Let's center it. Okay, we could we could do a vertical vertical alignment. I'm just gonna do the padding. Um, so let's bring it down. Just play around with this until we get it. And then let's um yeah, let's go ahead and change that to a medium font to match it. We actually want this white, that's what they have it in. So now we'll have to play around with it a little more. There you go, that, that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna put the padding on the row. Um, all of these rows are going to have the same padding, 20, and I'm just going to basically just copy <laughs> that row and then drag it in. But first we need that uh, inbox icon, so we're going to just expand that and we'll do horizontal alignment to the right. And then let's go ahead and change that icon. Yeah. Cool. Boom, we have the top section. Now what we're going to do is just going to uh, save the project and instead of dragging another row in, well, I guess I did. Well, let's just, uh, yeah, let's put the text in there. Let's go ahead and make this 20 and 20. And there's three basically different rows of text. So we're just going to copy and paste those. They all have the same padding. They have different padding top and bottom. Uh, we're just going to play with each one and then change the fonts to match the design. So, we'll just work on that. The, I, I love working with the theme uh, typography and the theme colors. Um, so, I mean, I think eventually we're gonna allow more colors than just three, but even so, like it's very beneficial. Uh, to be able to do that and I'll go in and set the the font families up in my app settings uh, here in a second so we're actually going to use something some font family that's a little more modern than what Nike's using which is fine I mean Nike has their fonts so now we're just going to expand that and make it right right aligned uh, eventually we'll hook up a action to that to view all so and that'll just be basically a page transition this one we want a little larger let's go ahead and give it some padding up top yeah let's do it on the row I try to do all of my padding on the rows rather than the you know the the internal elements um, just makes it a little easier so Make it a little larger. I'm not really liking this Poppins font, so let's go change it all. So this is where I sort of sped it up. There's this really nice Google font called Lexand, um, and I'm going to use that for my fonts or my typography. 
and there you go, I'll just set some standard ones. We're actually gonna go, and boom, look, very modern feel, look and feel. I think it looks, it's, look, it's coming along pretty well. Looking sharp, and we're just gonna add another row. This is gonna be for the page view. Um, so this page view is gonna take up basically the bottom portion of the, um, the initial view. And we're gonna remove the um, margin, so we bring those indicators up into the image view itself. And let's align them to the left, just like Nike has them. Uh, we're gonna change the width. Um, all of them, all of the indicators are the same in the Nike app, so we're gonna do that um, more or less. And yeah, expansion one, spacing eight, that works. Let's go ahead and make this just white. Yeah, we'll probably change the gray later, but for now I think it works. Say the project, uh, they are basically rectangles in Nike, so we're just gonna make it like that just to be consistent. So the page view comes with a initial image. Um, you can just change the image um, if you'd like, but for this Nike app, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, and if you've seen my other tutorials on page views, um, you know that we can essentially, um, we can essentially uh, remove that and we can do a column and then a stack and a stack allows us to put a background image and then put text overlaid on that. So really excited about that. Um, grabbed all our images coming back. Let's go ahead. We'll just add this column in there and then a stack. And this is how we're going to put that background image in there. So let's just make that 100%. And then the height is 500. I think that's what our page view is. So let's change that. We already uploaded all these images. Let's go ahead and select one. And then let's grab text. Um, yeah, let's grab another text. Okay, so a stack is just gonna layer everything on top and then you can manipulate um, each element as you would like. But instead of just laying the text, I'm gonna do a row to give some structure. Um, I'm gonna do 20 and 20. And then let's see. Okay, let's go to the page view then. Um, let's find that page view or the stack. Let's go to alignment. Let's expand that. Okay, cool. That's going to allow us to manipulate that row, um, that row's alignment. So let's make sure that this text is correct. Let's make it secondary to match the design. It's new from running, or new from Nike. Cool, cool. It's gonna be hard to sort of read this text over this image. So let's go ahead and duplicate that row. Um, let's grab it. There you go. All right, then select the stack. That's where you wanna copy it into. Um, and they both have the same vertical alignment. So let's go ahead and make that second one um, a little more. And we can manipulate it because we're going to actually make this one bigger. Um, this is a, basically a heading one. Let's expand it. So for text, if you don't expand it and you you sort of go over the page, it's just going to go off the page. So what you're going to need to do is expand that text um, so that it wraps. Right there, we're trying to get a bolder font. Um, I guess Lexin doesn't have a bold font, so oh well. It won't be 100% identical, but it'll work. I will uh, I'll try to speed through some of this stuff. It's just dummy. Cool. So yeah, we're just gonna, you know, copy and paste. We're gonna take that column, copy it, go back, select the page view um, so that we can switch pages. And then we're just gonna remove the image that's by default there and paste our column in there. Do the same on the third slide change the text, change the image, all that good stuff. Um, you can, you know, put actions to this text. Um, let's go ahead and save it and see what it looks like. All right. Right there, smooth as butter. Well, thanks for joining on this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy.